Is deep learning needed for me to get a job in data science? Many of you have been asking this question in my YouTube live through comments and through emails as well. What do you think? If I do not have deep learning in my resume, will I not get interview calls for data science? Or even if I get the call, will I not get selected? We will know answer to all these questions in this video. Welcome to Unfold Data Science. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. So guys, forget data science for a moment and let us think about any job profile. Okay. So let us say a Java developer. Now if you go and open the job requirement of a Java developer, you will see that many things have been written there. Okay. Many tools, many technologies, they write when they release a job description, they write many things, recruiters, right? Now do you think that a candidate will have all the 100% of the things? Typically, if there is a 70, 80%, 60% match, then also candidate get a call for the interview. That's what my personal experience. Okay. So deep learning may be there in the job requirement. That does not mean that they will reject you since you do not have deep learning in your resume until or unless it is a very, very specific requirement. Some of the requirements are very, very specific. I'm not talking about those. In general, I'm saying you, if there is a deep learning skill needed and if you do not have in your resume, but certain things which are mentioned there, machine learning, maybe data science skills, maybe uh, some of the algorithms, maybe how do you train a model, build a model, machine learning pipeline. These things are needed and these things are there in your resume. There is no problem for you in getting an interview calls. Okay. But is your resume equal to someone's resume who has deep learning in the resume? Well, no. Why I'm saying no here is somebody who is writing deep learning in their resume, it is, it is assumed by the recruiters that this guy knows lot of things. That is a generic assumption. Okay. If you are working in a deep learning technology, then you must be aware of basic machine learning, basic data science, all these things. But if you are not writing deep learning, it does not mean that, you know, you are worthless. You will not get interview calls. Now, once you get the interview call, let us see what is the expectation in the interview. In the interview as well, you can very well say, this is very important to understand guys, until or unless the requirement is very, very specific to deep learning, very, very specific to deep learning, which is very less requirements. Most of the requirements are generic in nature in the market. Okay. If you go in the interview and say that I have exposure to deep learning, but I have not worked in any real time projects. These are the machine learning projects I have worked on and I know end to end implementation of these projects. This is a very well accepted implementation, very well accepted argument, very well accepted profile in the market. You will not be rejected because you don't have two, three projects in deep learning. If you have well and good, if you don't have still, there are many, many opportunities in market. That is first thing to understand. Second thing to understand here is let us not try to put everything that we have heard of in our resume. We should always put the things which we are confident on in our resume. More things, it's always better. So if I know ML, if I know DL, if I know computer visions, it's always good. My profile will look heavy. My profile will look good. My profile will look stand. My, my profile will stand out. But if I have not got an opportunity to work in CV, computer visions, I will not put CV in my resume. That is perfectly fine. No problem. So what I'm trying to say you through this video is try to learn the things at most basic level. Try to build your base strong and then keep on learning new things on that. Don't try to put your hand little bit here, little bit there, little bit of this algorithm, little bit of that thing. I will do CV also. I will do LSTM also. I will do SVM also, but I do not know how linear regression works. No, this should not be the approach. You should try to know things from the basic, make yourself strong with basic concept of machine learning, some bit of deep learning. Then you go on to do some projects in deep learning. If you can put in your resume, good. If you do not put, that is also not a sin. Nobody is going to reject your profile because you do not have deep learning until or unless it's a very specific requirement. Okay. So this is the message I wanted to give you from this video guys. 
whatever questions you have in mind you can always write me in comment write me in email and i'll see you all in the next video till then all of you wherever you are stay safe and take care